Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, please help me as I record this video on your behalf and that of St. Therese of Lisieux. Amen. Hi everybody, today, October 1st, is the feast day of St. Teresa or St. Therese of uh, Lisieux. That's a city in France. She's also known as St. Therese of the Child Jesus, St. Therese the Little Flower of Jesus, St. Therese of the Holy Face of Jesus. Okay, and she appeared several times to my friend over the years. And here's a message that she gave my friend, really a timeless message, on March 30th and March 31st of 1984. And my friend says, St. Teresa appears in front of me with a crucifix surrounded by roses. The figure on the crucifix seems human. It is bleeding in several areas and his head turns. And St. Therese speaks to my friend, I am showing you that he is still being crucified by those who do not appreciate the price paid for their redemption. And then the next day, St. Therese continues the message. She appears at my friend's bedside with the bleeding Christ. Tell them he is still bleeding. Tell them to come to him and console him. There are so many more who do not come than come. There are so many more who become too involved in material acquisitions to give him of their time. For each one who comes or who returns to him, he knows that the sacrifice was not in vain, as in his dying on the cross. She continues, Tell them the time is growing short and man must make good use of what time there is left to him. His as in Christ's, heart is bleeding too, not just the wounds that you can see. He is bleeding internally for those who will not acknowledge the price paid for their redemption. Tell them he is still waiting and welcomes with open arms all those who will return, all those who for the first time come, all those who stay, and all those who repent and learn of him. Tell them, too, that his blessed mother is always waiting beside him with open arms to gather to her bosom on his behalf all those who will come to her. To those who call her, she comes. To those who come to her, she welcomes with open arms and hands them to her son. Tell them to come. This message continues with St. Therese speaking. I, too, as many of the saints, have been blessed with the special grace of bestowing favors on my Savior's behalf. And then my friend has a short note here. I am impressed here that she, St. Therese, should be invoked for conversions. And then, as though reading my mind, St. Therese says to me, I will be their emissary and will lead those they pray for to our crucified Christ. Tell them that I too am waiting with open arms to lead all those who want to return to Christ and all those who are recommended to me to guide to Him. Tell them, I am anxious for I have been given this specific grace. I cannot put down the cross while my Savior is still bleeding upon it, for I too feel his pain. All those who walk with me along the road of conversion strip the crown of its thorns and the wounds of their sting. Some will ask, if you, have, you are given the grace of conversion, then why not just go ahead and convert those who need it? She continues, I cannot go into the workings and the whys and whereofs of heaven and earth. But I can say that because these things must take place on earth, we need the help of those who are here. Those in heaven look after the things of heaven, and sometimes with your help too, believe it or not, the souls assisted to get there for one thing. 
and the things of earth must be looked after by those here, with our help, of course, for you can never do it alone. Never do it alone. Tell them, friend, that the days grow short, and are they ready for a long night ahead, when the only true light which can guide them, the only glowing beacon in the dark, will be the light of Christ? May we be blessed by this message. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.